North rivals when the Bears host the Packers. Jay Cutler is never happy to see the Cheeseheads with only one win in 12 career starts against Green Bay. In fact, Jay Cutler has lost eight consecutive starts against the Packers, including the playoffs. He has a QBR of just 26.2 against Packer defenses, and his last win came in week three of the 2010 seasons. Packers, Bears, Skip. Who gets the W? Stephen A. Smith, now the roles are reversed from our previous prediction on Cowboys versus Giants. I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it. And I will admit to you, this is a little from the heart or from the gut, because I am so sick and tired of the abuse you have heaped on my man Jay Cutler on this show for the last two months. It's, it's been over the edge, over the line piling on over the line yeah just line. just like day after it's relentless until i just couldn't take it anymore so i am here to predict the chicago bears led by jay cutler will upset the green bay packers on sunday in chicago these are arch rivals green bay is a prohibitive seven point favorite on the road i just have a gut feeling maybe it's from the heart maybe it's just from the gut but i have a feeling the Chicago Bears are going to rise up and shock the world, or at least shock Packer Nation, led by Jay Cutler and a stable of good running backs, starting with Matt Portforte, Jacquez uh, Rogers, that kid Jeremy Langford from Michigan State, who I always liked every time I turned him on on TV like in college. Him. I like him a lot. So they're going to bang away. Jay Cutler's, again, is he going to have Alshon Jeffrey? I'm not sure about that, but it looked like he was practicing at the end of the week, so I think he'll be there. Martellus. I hope we'll be there, rise and shine, Martellus Bennett and Eddie Royal, and we'll just see that Jay Cutler, finally, when you least expect it, is going to have one of those great Jay Cutler games that he is totally capable of having, and Green Bay's a little beat up in its offensive line. We're not sure how that's going to be mixed and matched on Sunday. Maybe Aaron Rodgers won't get quite the protection that he needs at Soldier Field, and all of a sudden, craziness will happen. I, I hate to even pick a score, but I will. I'll say last second field goal, 23-21 Chicago Bears. Upset of the opening <coughs> weekend. So let me get this straight. Yes. Yeah. You heard me. The Chicago Bears really haven't had much change in their personnel. They ranked 30th against the pass last year. They're going up against that bad man that he is, Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. He used to be. Who yeah. has pretty much had his way with them. And I am dumb. My, 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 my picking the Giants against Dallas was dumb. Mm -hmm. But you're allowed. I told allowed. you we had role reversal. But, but, I told but, you. But that. you're yeah. allowed mm -hmm. to sit up there mm -hmm. and, and not only pick Jake. Cutler, mm -hmm. to have the audacity, the mm -hmm. unmitigated yeah. goal Against to that sit there and look man. into the cameras on national television yeah. and say that I crossed the line? Yep. Forget the damn debate about the Bears and Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Green Bay will win this game. Let's address the real elephant in the room. I crossed the line with Jay Cutler, a person that the only Piled time on. you have seen him mm -hmm. smile was when he was signing a contract. A man who has spent years stealing money. Stealing money from the Chicago Bears who should be arrested for theft just because of how pathetic he has been. That Jay Cutler, I have crossed yes, the line piled with on. him. Yep. With him, I don't, even know. I don't even know if it's sorry behind his welcome back at Vanderbilt because he might contaminate the university considering how pathetic he has looked. In the last couple That's of years. The with the Chicago, That's right. Well, it may Thank be. You. Yeah, I like Vanderbilt. Thank but you. here's the deal. Jay Cutler. He can throw. He's a tremendous athlete. He's tough. He's taken punishment over the years. All of those things are true. What is the knock against Jay Cutler? He is leaderless, and he is indifferent to production. He doesn't care. If he stinks up the joint, so what? If the Chicago Bears lose, so what? If the city is miserable because of his presence, so what? 
If he's overpaid, the joke's on you, because he, ca he cashes the check every couple of weeks. Then I have crossed the line. Mm -hmm. If the city of Chicago can sit up there and get rid of him, you think that Michael Jordan returned and they threw a parade, okay, down Wacker for crying out loud. Don't give me them stuff about Jake Cutler. Jake Cutler is lucky to even have a damn starting job in the NFL. He deserves to be a reserve because one of the prerequisites for being a starting quarterback mm -hmm. in the NFL should be that you got to care. You got to care about your job. You got to care about being productive. You got to care about actually winning as opposed to losing and going home with a family that smiles because everybody knows the check is coming. This is what the life of Jake Cutler is like. Don't tell me I crossed the line with this man. That Relentless. Man, look, day look, after look, day look, after look, day after day. Look, after day. Listen, till I just can't I don't, take I don't it anymore. Bring him up. I don't bring him up. If you don't bring him up, I won't bring him up oh. because he's not worthy. We of, have I to don't bring him up. up. They're playing Are you weekend. kidding me? Oh, you can mention the Chicago Bears without mentioning in him. I mean, he's irrelevant anyway. I I've been talking about up. something else. It's a waste of time. And you know what? <laughs> okay. This is unbelievable to me. Good. He, he's lucky. Here's Good. the shot. I have he's... a score. I want to score from you. Oh, he'll say I'll 50 say... to 6. No, no, no. It's going to be something Get past 23 line. to 21 in eh, favor of Cuddy. Eh, uh, 33-17. I'm going to roll with that. Okay. About 33-17. You but played it say, safe. But let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. Okay, Skip. Let me mm. say Skip 1, Skip 2. Let me say this to you, okay? Jay Cutler. Got one shot. It's opening week. You're on your home turf in Chicago. Yep. Green Bay is without Jordy Nelson. Mm -hmm. The offensive line is suspect. And, so and remember, Randall, remember this. New regime in Chicago. John Fox takes over. Adam Gaze well, is your uh, new well, coordinator. Well, I know, I know okay. John Fox can coach particularly on the he defensive can. side of the ball. got it. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not, I, you know, listen, I think that it's going to take time for Andrew Gaze and those boys to work with Jay Cutler. I just think he's Adam, a lost yeah. cause. Adam, sorry. I just think he's I a lost Andrew cause. Gaze. I just think he's, he's a lost, I just think he's a lost cause. Australian. That's what yeah. he is. How do you know that? Jay Cutler is a lost cause. I just want to say that. Lost cause. So lost he has cause. no shot anymore. Lost. Like, no listen, shot. Listen, 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 listen. He'll win a few games this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chicago maybe. might have a John maybe Fox this is going to pull off listen, miracles. Listen, listen, hey, that's fine. Six, seven wins, maybe. All I'm trying to say to you is this: whatever the Chicago Bears do on a positive note, it will be in spite of Jay Cutler, not because of him. Mm. You can book that. Okay, he's got to care. I'm going to say he will be the reason they pull off the upset of this opening NFL weekend. Okay. And because that's your heart he talking. Capable. I told you it's my heart right, talking. Right, right, my right, gut. Right, right, I just gut. have a feeling your heart, about it. Your this. heart or gut. Just don't give mm -hmm. me a football reason as to why you could <laughs> sit there and talk about Jay Cutler. Because football-wise, there is no reason to talk Wait about Jay second. Cutler. Wait a second. There is no reason. Does he not have a cannon on? Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, you always say that. He's worse. Is he athletic? Listen, yeah. Listen, listen, he's worse than the Tim Tebow's of the world. Would you like me to tell you why? Because at least Tim Tebow cares. See, Jay Cutler's the worst kind because he has all the... If Tim Tebow had his talent, Tim Tebow would be a perennial all-pro. Mm. His team would possibly win Super Bowls because whatever it takes to win, Jay Cutler has all the talent in the world and wasted away while collecting the check. Mm. It's the worst kind. I want to know, you, you brought up Tim Tebow. I did not. No, I'm just saying, no, I'm, right? bring, I'm bringing it up only okay. from the perspective that he cares. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, five, the guys that care, but he doesn't have the talent. Jay Cutler has the talent, but doesn't care. Want okay. me to get under your skin a little more? Do you? Go ahead. Cutler and Rogers tied for the most guaranteed, not most guaranteed money, same amount of guaranteed money, $54 million. Mm. That is disgraceful. Mm. No wonder, what is it, Emory? Is that what it was, Emory that gave, that gave uh, mm. Cutler that money as a GM for Chicago? No wonder he's out. No wonder. The owner probably said I should have fired him twice. You understand? I mean, this is abysmal. Mm. Abysmal. Jay Cutler's stealing money, man. He's stealing money. And the city of Chicago is suffering because of it. Chicago's a great sports town. You work there. You used to write for the Tribune. You know what I'm talking about. It's a fantastic sports town. It's a shame. It's a shame because they really looking forward to football because it's the NFL, but they're really not because that means they got to watch Jay Cutler. They know. They know what's coming. It's really sad. It really, really, really is very sad what Jay Cutler has done to that town. It's disgraceful. He doesn't care. Okay, here's my he doesn't final care. Point. It's a sad I'm, I'm show gonna, today. I'm going to close my case. Okay. I think it was a good thing that Brandon Marshall left or, or was forced what? to leave or whatever you say because they needed to break 
their alliance because Jay Cutler had become far too dependent upon Brandon Marshall. I think to it was Brandon the, Marshall I, centric. I think it was bro, I think it was beautiful for Brandon Marshall to get away from Jay Cutler you because you know what you can be contaminated mm -hmm. in this world. I mean, it's easy to get contaminated for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. Some of us get sick just by shaking sweaty hands. Others, like Brandon Marshall, get your careers ruined because you're associated with Jay Cutler. That's what's see, happening. See, that's 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 over the line. line. That is that's over the line. line. That's the truth. Brandon oh, Marshall might miss Jay Cutler this season. Just saying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just saying. Okay. With the Jets, he Brian might miss his quarterback. Geno Smith. Yeah, you make a point. But the flip side to it is that if you got guys that are working hard and trying to win every day and actually care, it might actually be an upside. I'm just saying. Get your point. Fair enough. Moving on, more games to pick. The Rams have had recent success at home against Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. Will that trend continue? On Sunday, find out next.